it would appear that we're jumping right into this one. Hello, everybody. My name is Dami, and today we're playing something called Something Strange About Uncle Howard. This is the free game down in the description below. I'm concerned, so let's begin. So you finally let me in, huh? Don't you fear me? Well, it doesn't matter anymore. If you need something, I will be here. If you don't, I'll be here too. I'm really excited about all of this. You can call me in any occasion. I think it would be fun. After all, within every problem lies an opportunity. The frame in the porous wall is bent, but inside it shows a delighted memory of a delightful family. Dad still had all teeth to smile. Mom is sun-kissed. Sister is holding her head high. The dog is fat as a contest pig. I miss those times. I was fit as a fiddle. Back then, I could go to the beach all right. No shame. Mom, you still look fine. Damn, easy for you to say. You never looked like me. Jesus. Ma, what happened to your face? What are you talking about? Your makeup looks cakey today. Is everything all right? The m mom's wrinkles fold even more in resentment as her lungs spit out in anger. Are you calling me ugly? G you, who looks like you fell out of an ugly tree and hit a branch on the way down. The day you came to this house with a good catch on that day, then you can mock me. But I... Enough of this girl talk. Let me enjoy my meal, for God's sake. What did you do with Sparky? Some new items. One little piggy loots some coins to run away from home. One little piggy is going to be crying wee 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 all the way all alone. Okay. Y'all rather watch paint dry than help me clean this house. Girl, after dinner, you'll make this house unblemished. Why always me? I'm tired today. You will do as I say, or you can pack your things and go anywhere. The young woman's eyes flickered across the room in anguish, searching for something. Okay. Well, those didn't look like good papers. They say, those who can't do, teach. Those who can't learn, quit. Those who can't be in a healthy marriage, blame their children on their or their debt, everything but themselves. Okay. Why is it 8.30? Why is the time passing? What is happening? I don't understand. Do you know what a man desires when he gets home? It's not reuniting with his kids. It's not kissing the sweet lips of his wife. What a man desires is a cold beer and some peace of mind. You know that I'm rough and I have a heart, heart hard like a rock. But it's in moments like these where I remember I fell in love with you, woman. This food is granny slapping good. The mother smiles and blushes while directing a disapproving glance towards her husband. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Me too. It's great. Nothing good ever came out of that box except static. I agree, for once. I don't like what you're doing with my family members. I'd really like them back, I think. Okay, there's a giant eye. Uncle, what the fuck are you doing? Every Christmas you come here, every Thanksgiving you come here, we never invite you, you just arrive, and then you bring all your demons every single time. We just want to have a good family dinner, and every single time you're making them go into other dimensions, and you're making the... Walls ooze blood. Can you stop for once and just be a normal uncle? These kids need you, man. Now everyone is watching you. Will you make it? No, I won't, because you keep summoning... See? Howard, this isn't natural. This isn't right. You, you need to stop. Jesus. 
Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. I'd rather not fly. Howard, we need to talk. We need, you know what? You and I, we need to have a discussion. Th this isn't cool. Okay? I, I, I was passive about sending the family to memories to God knows what dimension. I was passive with that. I let the giant eye slide. The, the, the doorway, the milk doorway was pushing it, but I let it slide. But I am not going to let that slide. I'm not going to let, like, seven people are staring in. Seven demons. Can you just tell them to bugger off? We're having a family time. We're having a heart to heart. We're trying to if you'd stop sending them to different dimensions. Damn it, Howard. Can you talk to me about them? Talk to me about them. Tell me what the, about them. Haven't you realized yet? A problem never comes alone. I don't know what the problem is. This is why this marriage never worked out, Howard. Because you don't talk. We don't talk. You just sit there and speak in cryptic messages. Why is it 7 p.m. again? Why did we go back in time? Well, here we are again, kid. Are you not tired of making the same mistakes? Wait, what? Wait. Okay, so I'm guessing I did something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong. I'm guessing there's right things to interact with and not right things to interact with? You realize the sloppy, flesh-stained, empty bowl and the famished dog. It gazes at you, seeking help with its begging eyes. You can't stay quiet anymore. Let's address the big, fat elephant in the room. There is someone starving to death and no one noticed. Watch your mouth, boy. Are you saying I don't provide for the family? Dad looks at the dog, then shifts his glaze to the empty bowl with abandoned cobwebs. This is a joke, girl. I give shelter to this raggedy dog, and you don't even feed it. You're no good. Sister mumbles an apology to the dog and hands out him her food. She usually doesn't forget about her chores. There's something off about it these days. Ah, we did it right! Ah, so there is the right order about everything. Interesting, interesting. You notice that your sister can't stop looking at the stuffed backpack next to the door. You remember the night in which she spent hours on the phone with her boyfriend talking about the future. But you didn't expect the future to arrive so soon. Sister, I know sometimes this place feels like a living hell, but please, don't give up. I can't stand this anymore. I have to do something. It just gets worse every single day to get rid of this horrible feeling that grows bigger each day. I know this isn't easy, mainly for you. I get what you're feeling. It's hard for me too, but without you, but without you would be even worse. Do you really think there's any hope for this madhouse? Yeah, I do. How? Together. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, suck my dick, Uncle Howard. Can we talk about the gun? Can we address the gun? A shattering noise comes from outside the house, but no windows look cracked. If we only if only we had an actual fire, I'm not the stupid BB gun. The kids could get hurt. Oh no, a life without kids. What's a tragedy that would be? Oh, well, there goes her. I have a feeling that you don't think it would be very tragic, Howard. We're not gonna talk about them. We're ignoring their existence. Like a sunset, the photo was in a warm orange and worn out tones. It shows mom, back when she had her maiden name and could take every heart. Some days I can't even look at this photo. I was so young. Mom, you know I love you. Stop dwelling on it. You're still beautiful, but beauty is not everything, you know? Sometimes you amaze me, boy. Yes! 
Yes, we're doing good now. This is all based on pure luck, but we're doing amazing things. Um... Submerged in a mix of grease and soap, the dishes remain untouched since last Friday. Can't you smell the scent of laziness and despair? That's what my room smells like, probably. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. I don't know what to click on that wouldn't banish anyone. This is new. You look at that big golden bottle with mixed feeling of anger and sorrow. All those terrible moments come to your mind. You put your hand over the flyer and take a deep breath. Dad, we have something to talk about. It's about your about your issues with I have no issues, boy! Calm down, Dad. This that that's is exactly the problem. You are sick and bring everyone down with you. I'm tired to keep hiding my problems like they don't mean anything. A short time ago, I even considered to leave this house. I'm your daughter and I love you, but it's impossible to keep watching you destroy yourself like this. Darling, the kids are right. It's complicated to put up with the way you change when you drink. It's not you. When I see you in that stage, I really miss the man I once fell in love with. I miss the man who raised me. I miss the man that teached me how life is hard and how strong we need to be to face it. We can't avoid this anymore. It's not just about you, it's about our family. You used to take care of us. Now it's our time to do it. Aww. Thank you. Thank you all to give a chance to this old rag. And they lived happily ever after. Aww. That was a cool game. It had a lot deeper message than I thought it was. I thought it was just like a random, like, really weird game. I don't know what the fuck Uncle Howard's doing still, but it had a, it had a better message than I thought. <laughs> oh, it's a really good game. I really like the style and everything. It's really nice. Oh, that was a cool game. I know I'm saying that it was a cool game a lot, but it was a cool game. It was legit. I can't interact with anything anymore, though. I can't pan, I can't do nothing. So it's just over it just ends so that was cool i i don't like uncle howard i wish he'd stop coming around when the family had trying to have these interventions oh, let him slide he's just the weird creepy uncle that always comes around you know everyone has an uncle howard i'm sure we do I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. The choice is yours. And I'll see you guys all when I see you guys again. Because who knows when that'll be. Bye-bye, everyone.